Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. So first, let's get into it. Let's get into this hair. Hold on now. Who do I think I am? Stella. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, so if you were not aware that I was doing the faux locks, hello. So, um, yes, I decided to go ahead and finally do these faux locks. I didn't film it for you guys because uh, it took me two days and your girl was struggling. But now that I got it down packed, um, I'm going to do these again. I'm going to keep these in until my birthday, which is in three more weeks. <laughs> Excuse me. And then... I'm going to take it out, have my hair all curly for my birthday, and I'm going to do these again in November. So, I will film it definitely for you guys then because it's super easy, it's very lightweight, it's not heavy, and um, anybody could do it at home. So, just wanted to throw that little hair plug in, but yes, yeah, so from the title of the video, today I'm going to be talking about my breakup story. So, um... A lot of you guys may or may not know that I was in a long-term relationship. Um, when I started my channel, we were already together for a few years. So we just broke up in the end of February, beginning of March of this year. And um, we had just celebrated our nine-year anniversary that January. So we broke up a month or so after our anniversary. But... Um, so the real honest reason that I moved to Miami was because of the breakup. So if you didn't already get that drift or get that hint, um, if you just felt like I was just moving here for just to be moving, no. Um, I didn't really go into detail at the time because I was only a few months in and I wasn't really ready to discuss like what was going on. But yes, that is the reason why I moved here. The only reason why. Um, my parents had moved here because my mom relocated for her job. And so uh, once we had broke up and then I really was serious about the breakup and didn't go back. That's when I had decided, okay, um, as soon as school is over, because I was working at an elementary school, that I would go ahead and move. Um, down there with my parents so um, just a little background story on the relationship like I said we were together for nine years I met him when I was 17 and he was 19 um, my senior year of high school and um, we dated for about a year and then we officially got together but I always count that year that we dated too so um, that's why I said nine years, but officially boyfriend and girlfriend for eight. Um, and um, we lived together, I want to say, six years out of that, out of that time, six, seven years um, out of that time. And we, in the beginning, um, I think things were really really good in the beginning but that's because we were young um, and I don't think we were really that serious in the beginning but my love for him really really started to grow and after I would say about the second year is when I really started to get serious and look at him as more as my husband and not my boyfriend and um, I have figured okay this is it like this is who I'm gonna be with so after five years it started like getting a little easier and I'm like okay now this is becoming routine this is becoming a part of my life he's now a part of me um, you know when you're around someone every day like that they become a part of you they become your your breath your your feeling your your everything and um, I wasn't really looking at our situation in the present I was looking at our potential or what we could be or once we move out things will be better or once we get more money things will be better or once we um, 
you know, just saying that right now our situation is not going to always be like this. We're not going to always be like this. We're going to be so much better and we're going to be this power couple and we're going to be together until the end of time. And, you know, um, that's how I saw it. But in reality, it wasn't that way. And um, there were... There were a lot of bumps in, in the road with us and I, I don't think that I chose to ignore them. I just think that um, I thought, okay, all relationships go through problems. We can work it out and then move past it. But I never really sat and dissected, okay, is this the person that I'm really meant to be with? Am I investing my time in the right person? Am I investing the years in the right person? And up until the last year and a half, I really thought that I was. Um, the last year and a half, we kind of took a few little mini breaks, or I would like say, I think we should break up. And <clears throat> But I never stuck with it. Like, I would say that, and then we would talk, and then we would go to sleep. And then we wake up and it's like, okay, no. And I wouldn't stick with it. And that was going on for about a year. And even prior to that, there were a lot of arguments and times where, you know, he would say maybe we shouldn't be together. But I would be like, you know, no, we should. We're just going through something right now. We can work it out. You know, I... I don't know, I don't want to say I forced him because he could have left whenever he wanted to. But I do think that I did probably make it difficult if, if that was something that he did want to do. I kind of, um, in a way I did kind of like force, you know, force it. <laughs> and um, I'm not apologizing for that. I'm not apologizing for how many years we were together because everything is a learning experience. I know I've learned a lot from being with him and I'm pretty sure he's learned a lot from being with me. Um, it's just sometimes two people, even if they do love each other, that's just not enough, you know? Um, at the end of the day, are our souls really aligned to be with each other romantically, you know? Um, and in this case, the mature decision for me was to walk away. Um, like I said, it was something that I was battling for a while. Um, I think I was just scared, you know. I was really scared to make that leap. I didn't know how to be without him. I Like, that was one of the things where I would be like, I couldn't imagine not seeing him every day or not being around him every day that's just something that I don't even think that I was strong enough to do I didn't think that I was strong enough to handle it thinking about it thinking about like breaking up with him and then being like wow I may not ever see him again that like made me sad and it brought tears to my eyes so it was like I couldn't never just really fully just say you know what let's break up and then stick with it and so um, as, as women, we put up with a lot of things that we shouldn't. And I feel like in my case, I overextended myself and, um, and not because I was trying to gain. That's just who I am. I have a big heart. So when I really love a person, I love them and I do anything for them. And, um... So I'm not going to change my character and I'm not going to stop being the, the way that I am. But like I said, I think I was looking at him as a husband where we weren't on the same page. And that's probably where the wires kind of got crossed. My expectations were on a different level. And just how a relationship should function was different from his mindset. Um... And that's so important when you are investing time in a person and you um, realize, that, okay, this is somebody you want to spend the rest of your life with. You have to make sure they are on the same page with that. 
and they completely understand and everything is communicated well and um the time also was a hindrance because I'm like okay we've already invested so much time why well, throw it away now but at the end of the day you have to think of your happiness and your your peace and your energy and it's so important to protect that because you don't realize you know what people could bring into your life that can alter that and um I knew it was something that I had to do, but I was just scared to do it. So this video is really basically not to go into like, oh, what he did or what I did. That's not what this video is about. This video is about giving support to somebody out there, even if you're not my subscriber and you just happen to click on this video. Um, giving support to you to let you know that if you are battling this decision, if you are leaning towards leaving, it's okay to do it. I'm letting you know right now that it's okay. It might be scary. It might make you sad. It might make you angry. You may feel like you're a failure, but you're not any of those things. We're just people and we're just trying to, you know, live this life the best way that we can. And um, it's okay if this didn't work out, it's okay. You know, it's never too late to walk away and still find that love that you are searching for. It's never too late. And that's what I had to realize with myself. I felt like I failed. I felt like, you know, my teens and my 20s are gone. And I'm almost 30 years old and now I have to start all over again. Um, but <sighs> but it's okay because I realize now that I'm so much more happier. I lost like this part of myself and my whole family everybody like you know noticed that the old me was gone and I'm finally like getting her back and I just feel so free I just feel like you guys just really don't know and it's nobody's fault you know we we all have to go through things in life and i wouldn't take back anything you know my love was real and it just showed me that i am capable of loving someone really really loving them and when it's my time somebody will love me back that same way So, um, I didn't think I was going to cry, but, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really crying because I feel so at peace with my decision. I didn't think that I would be able to get through it. I didn't think that, you know, I thought I would be crying every day and, life was just going to stop so that's why i'm here to to let you know that you have my support if you don't have any other support to help you through whatever you're going through right now and you may feel like your whole world is coming down and you don't know what's next or you don't know what to do but i'm telling you making that step just might be the best decision you may ever make so um i recorded some clips back when i was moving out um, of my apartment 
and just talking a little bit about my situation so i'm finally ready to share this with you guys this was filmed um back in june and um yeah so i thank you guys so much for being here for me like you really don't even know youtube was one of my outlets that's why i started youtube because there was a lot of times in my relationship where i felt alone and filming these videos and talking to you guys just made me feel so much better. So, so when I say I love you guys, get through it you're almost done <laughs> so when I say I love you guys I really genuinely mean it you guys are not subscribers to me you're my family you're my friends my sisters my brothers for all my male viewers <laughs> um because I got like nine percent <laughs> but this was a way of me still being me when I felt like I couldn't be me so um thank you and yeah I'm you know excited for what's up to come and um so I'm gonna play the clips for you guys and then I'll probably just come back to say you know a few more words and yeah so let's watch the clips all right so it is um wednesday march 31st 2017 and this is my sorry i'm holding my big camera so this shit is heavy this is my last night in this apartment i got in this apartment um august september of 2012 I was 21 years old. I wasn't even 22 yet. And I bought this apartment on my own. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I bought this apartment because I had broke up with my boyfriend. And um, I needed a fresh start. And it's funny because I'm moving out of this apartment now five years later. Because I broke up with him after being with him for nine years um, and I need a fresh start so it's funny how everything came full circle you know I moved in here because we broke up and now I'm moving out of here because we broke up so um, but yeah we were together for nine years and um, I'm leaving this apartment so this is my kitchen <laughs> and I got to get rid of that table and I'm already started going through my cabinets getting the dishes and stuff out I meal prep you know every week now so all I got to take out my refrigerator is my little containers and I'm going to my dad's house um he lives right up the street so that's where I'll be going and um yeah so it's kind of dark but I'll show you my living room. So there's my TV and my little stand. I just took the dining room table out, which used to be right here. Now it's just a bunch of bags and um, a little uh, chair that you use to sit outside. Got that from my job. <laughs> oh, something stuck to my foot. But yeah, so I just took my dining room table out and I had two floor lamps right there. So they are gone and I only have one couch left to get rid of already got rid of the other couch and so yeah um i have to do my bedroom and stuff tomorrow so i'll show you guys that tomorrow when the bedroom is completely empty it's a mess right now i got bags and everything everywhere because i'm gonna be taking two maybe three big bags to goodwill i got this box full of dishes right here and i put some more dishes in it 
I'm taking that to Goodwill. Probably get rid of the microwave, all of that stuff because I don't need it. I don't need any of these things. I might ask some of my neighbors like if they want some pots and pans, you know. Um, other than that, that's it. So this is the last night in here. I just wanted to vlog. I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this up, you know. Um, just because it's very emotional, but you know, cause it was funny. I was in the live stream today and one of my subscribers that kind of knows, knows me pretty well. She asked me what happened to my boyfriend. <laughs> Where, where's my boyfriend been at? So I haven't, you know, talked to you guys about it yet. So that's why I'm saying, I don't know when this is going to go up, but I do want to film it. But yeah, so now you guys know why I'm moving out and, you know, why I'm changing things up. It partly is because we broke up. So I'm using this opportunity to just um, take some time to myself. My parents live in Miami, so it's a perfect opportunity to go down there for a while and regroup. And then when I come back to Baltimore, I'll have more of a plan. Uh, because I have not been single or by myself since I was 17 and I'm 26 so I don't I don't know how to be by myself <laughs> yeah but um I'm gonna celebrate my friend he's a old friend but a new friend <laughs> put me on to this E&J vanilla so I'm going to sip me some of that with a cream soda. Hopefully, uh, my friend Alani and my other friend may come past to celebrate, you know, or at least just spend the last night with me. But if not, I'll be turned up by myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that is it. Like I said, you know, I definitely want to film this because partly it's for me, too, to look back on. But I don't mind sharing it with you guys, too. So... I love you, and let's start this new chapter together. So, up. I don't know why I'm crying. I don't know why I'm, um... Guys, like, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, this is so great. Like, I would love to go to Miami. And, but it's the, it's the circumstances on why I'm going. And um, I'm excited, like don't get me wrong, but I'm obviously sad, you know, because when you, when you have a plan for your life, and it doesn't go that way. It's a very hard thing to accept 
and um, I've been putting on a very strong face for a few months now but now that it's really hitting me that this is my last night in a place that I've been for five years and that I've been with some been living with someone that I thought I would be with forever. But um, things don't always go the way you plan and I'm realizing that I'm a perfectionist and starting to realize I can't control everything and I can't control everyone. Um, the breakup was my idea. So it's not, you know, like he broke up with me or anything. Um, and I mean, I'll go into detail you know in another video not too much detail but you know just talking a little bit more about it but yeah the breakup was my idea and I just felt like it was necessary it was the right thing to do um, but hard decisions aren't always easy <laughs> you know and Sometimes you have to realize that those hard decisions are the best ones. So even though it might be hard, you have to be honest with yourself and you have to make the right choice and not the easy choice. And it's so funny because all throughout the years, I would always tell him the easiest choice is walking away. The easiest choice is giving up on your relationship. You should fight. You should fight. The easiest choice is just to give up and break up. But in all actuality, it's really the hardest one. I didn't realize that at the time, but, um, so, <laughs> like I said, these moments and these videos right here are for me, so that's why I picked the camera back up when I started crying. It's not for views, it's not for none of that shit. I don't even know if I'm gonna ever upload this or just keep it for myself. But if I do end up uploading this and you are in my shoes, man or woman that's been with somebody for almost 10 years and you had to walk away, just know you're not alone. And it is hard to be honest and at the end of the day you have to choose your happiness and theirs because it's not about being a couple that's been together the longest because the person that I want to be with is the person that I'm happy with even when I'm mad I know relationships are not easy, trust me. Um, I know I have what it takes to make it work. I've been in this one for nine years. So that's not, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about being with someone that wants it just as much as me. And 
who's happy to be with me just the way I am. So, um, I think talking made me feel better. I'm already crying. I haven't even cracked the drink open. <laughs> oh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> oh, God. I need to take a shot. <laughs> I need somebody to come the fuck over, okay? Because <laughs> if somebody don't come over, I'm going to be a sad drunk. <laughs> but, um... I think I'm just gonna call my mom. You know, my mom is my best friend, so as you guys know, I'm just probably gonna call her, talk to her for a little bit. She always know what to say. And my friend Alani should be on her way soon. And she'll cheer me up. She'll be like, "Bitch, you going to Miami? The fuck you, crying for." <laughs> so. I love you guys more than you know and um, for all like I said whether you just starting out or you've been together a long time if you think the best decision is to walk away please walk away when you feel that way don't waste time we only get one shot at this and I want the next person to be the right choice you know just don't waste time don't um, ignore the signs and if you feel like you can make it work please by all means try don't give up but if you feel like you've exhausted all, all avenues and there's no shift, you got to let it go. So, <laughs> I think that's probably, this is probably the most realest I've been on camera, so no turn back now <laughs> just gotta be myself from now on <laughs> uh, you guys never see me cry at all um so yeah i'm signing out and i love you all right guys so it is june 1st about 12 30 and this is all of my things well all of this stuff over here is what I'm taking to my dad. So I have two bags of shoes, two totes of clothes, then that's clothes. So it's just, this is clothes, and then those two is clothes. And a little bit in the suitcase, so that's it. Then hair products. These two bags are shoes, perfumes, jewelry, miscellaneous, my hair dryer. And a blanket. So and then my drone. I gotta go through those. That's just papers. So probably just gonna be trash. So I mean this is not a lot of stuff. And then um, you know some of this stuff is sweaters and things like that. So I'm not gonna be taking that to Miami. So I'm gonna be taking even less amount of clothes and shoes. So I won't be taking like a lot of boots and stuff like that. I'm gonna leave that at my dad's house. Um, I'm gonna throw this table out I'm gonna take the TV and yeah this is trash so mattress all of this stuff over here is trash and going to Goodwill and here is the bedroom so I pulled up the carpet because this apartment didn't have carpet in it when I first moved in but I wanted carpet but the carpet needed to be cleaned so um, I'm really trying to get my security deposit back, so I'm um, trying to give them back the apartment really the way they gave it to me. So here is my bedroom all done. 
So this is the window that I would film in front of. I would sit right here. My dresser sat right there. So that's where all the cute stuff was. My dresser and everything. But yep, so I pulled up the carpet all by myself. I moved most of the stuff all by myself and then um, my neighbor helped me just take it to the dumpster. But, um, oh, I have to put it on me now. But, um, yeah, so later on, um, Brandon's gonna help and um, maybe my friend Deja may like just help me clean and stuff. Um, I gotta get the couch out, gotta get the mattress in the box spring out, and I gotta get the table in the kitchen out. So, ooh, my nose is, uh, itching. I am editing, well, I'm waiting for the video to finish importing, already finished editing. And I really didn't need to do a lot of editing because I just talked straight through and I didn't, uh, mess up all my words. So, the story time is about to go up now. I'm about to drive around some of those things to my dad's house just to get some of the stuff out the living room. And um, it's 12.30, so I got two hours till I got to go back to work. And then um, come back and finish the rest. I might not be able to do my workout tonight because I really have to be out of here. So, I'm going to probably miss today. But I've been working out, moving all that shit because... Most of the stuff I moved into the living room from the bedroom by myself and oh my god. So yeah, this is it. This is my room. What was my room? Hi room. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'll check in later. Alright guys, and now we are here. So I'm officially here in Miami to stay until you know i don't know i'm just taking every day as it comes i'm open to meeting people but i'm also just learning to protect my energy and um you know put me first right now and yeah so i'm excited for this new journey i'm here to share it with you guys you know i'm transparent and i keep it real with you 100 <laughs> percent so I appreciate all the love and support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, feel free, you know, if you need someone to talk to, my email is always down in the description box, and you know, I'm here. I'm not only here for just beauty and hair and makeup and fashion, I'm also here as your friend, and I want you guys to remember that first. So, I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.